Welcome to School Stuff and a general mid-month reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon or Ascendant for the last two weeks of August. I hate you love. Using the Tarot of the Abyss for you today. <clears throat> like, uh, if you haven't seen these videos before, I structure them slightly differently to the way that I do the main monthly reading, in so much as we are looking for the lesson. I think there is a lesson or wisdom contained in every interaction and experience that we have. Let's give it a second. And sometimes that energy can be quite challenging. I found over the years that it is easier for me to navigate that if I can work out why I'm in it in the first place. And so to that end, what we will do is pull three cards for your current energy and then three cards as to why you are there. Now, sometimes it's trying to teach you something about yourself. Other times it's trying to clear space for something new to come in. We won't know until the cards hit the table, right? So we'll do that and then we'll pull three cards of advice. I hope that that is clear. And also before I go any further, I just want to let you know that on Instagram there is somebody who is pretending to me uh, to be me and sliding into people's DMs, <clears throat> offering to uh, give them messages from the universe, right? <clears throat> Point number one, I am not doing personal readings at the moment. I do not have the spoons for it. I am completely wiped out with the chaos of my own existence at the moment. When I do, I will not be soliciting business through people's DMs on Instagram. I just won't do it, right? So I have an acuity scheduler and when the personal readings are open, people will book through those. Um, and please don't fall for it. It seems to be really prevalent in the tarot community at the moment and I have no idea why I think Possibly because the world is such a shit show and people need, you know, guidance and advice or whatever, but like, I still think it's disgusting. So, <clears throat> please only use the links in the description box. Those are my channels, whatever they are. I've got Odyssey on there, I've got Instagram on there. I do have a Twitter account, but actually, it's pretty redundant because I've had to come off Twitter because it's just such a, such a toxic place. So, <clears throat> Instagram is the only place that I am, but if in doubt, send me a message following the link in the description box down there, and I will let you know if I am trying to follow you or not. I can guarantee I'm not. So, with all of that grubby business out of the way, let's have a look and see what's going on with you at the moment. There's the first one. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And we have the Hanged Man. This is interesting, Aquarius, because we've actually got the Magician at the bottom of the deck. And what I really feel compelled to tell you is that no matter how confusing things seem at the moment, you are actually better equipped than you think you are. There is a lot of confusing stuff going on for you at the moment. We've got the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles all underneath here. And it's all sort of combining to give this this particular feeling of being outside. I and and actually literally just did the, the monthly reading for Aquarius, it was the very last one that I did. Um was just a few days ago. And I called it liminal space because it, it does feel like that is the space that you are occupying at this point. You are neither here nor there, somewhat straddling the two of them at the moment. And that you know, that is it's tiring, it's exhausting, and it's also incredibly confusing. But it is coming together. Oh, was this not the card that came out for you, right? The end of the extended, I feel like it was. It, it's all pushing you all towards this, right? You have all of the tools that you need, whether you're aware of it or not at this time. <sighs> what helps you get to the point of being the magician is kind of sitting with this energy enough that the answers will start popping up for you right we've got the seven of wands and so it could well feel it doesn't feel to me like the seven of wands is is other people although it could be agents of the universe doing their thing and stuff it, it feels more energetic it, it feels a little bit like you're under attack by the level of confusion and illusion that seems to be pervading your existence at the moment. But this Queen of Wands here appearing in the reverse could speak to 
an unsurety as to you know which way to act the thing is you are being you are being counseled not to act at this point right not with this hanged man at the bottom of the deck here you're kind of in suspended animation at this point you're somewhat in cryostasis right in this liminal place between the two things right now is not the time to act now is not the time to actually try and decide to do anything it is about sitting with this energy and seeing where it takes you the hanged man is all about a change of perspective but it is also the most passive card in the deck and it is the one that speaks of complete in action whether you wanted to or not i don't think you can move in any particular direction you will be here for as long as you are here and accepting that there is no action that can be taken on your part at this time is probably the thing that will facilitate your movement out of it quicker as counterintuitive as that sounds mm, let me just pull one more card for this seven of wands because i feel like that needs addressing tell me about the seven of wands please yeah we've got the queen of cups and we've got the moon there's a lot to be said here for the way that this is making you feel right sitting with the way that this is making you feel rather than the fact that you can't do x y and z or you don't know which way is up you don't know what to do right sit with the feelings that come up with this because there's some wisdom in there that's trying to make itself known to you and right? the the moon is all about those things that are hidden from us that kind of ripple along underneath what you want to do is get to a point where you can turn this moon upside down right things are being revealed you're very much in the middle of everything aquarius and so much so that it's kind of difficult to achieve the perspective that you may have had if you were you know six miles away stood on the top of a hill and looking down at this thing right this is about really sitting with this for as long as you can and try not to feel victimized i guess by it <clears throat> five of wands has just dropped out there and you know, try not to feel too conflicted with it acceptance is key here sit with it allow it to shape the way that it is going to or well, it's going to do it whatever right <clears throat> But if you struggle against it, if you keep trying to act your way out of it, you're kind of missing the point, it seems. So, three cards. Why is Aquarius in this energy, please? Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And we have the Knight of Cups. Something's getting shaken up big time with you you know yeah even before i looked at the bottom of the deck i could feel that kind of everything being put into a bag and shaken around and, and here we have the death card the death card speaks about transformation it's talking about a complete shift in circumstances but it is one that does not cannot occur if you move in any given direction you need to sit right here where you are in this space relax into it as counterintuitive as that sounds as well and accept that that this holding pattern such as it is is going to continue for as long as it's going to continue and nothing that you can do is going to push you away from it right you are right in the center of the storm aquarius for whatever reason and something is changing dramatically changing in the process you've got to let it do its work you know there's this we don't have the fool here but there's certainly an element of of you being asked to trust in the process and trust in your part in the process and sometimes the most powerful thing that you can do is do nothing and this feels like one of those situations here but yeah there's there's a lot being shook around and put on its head we have the five of po uh, pentacles which is all about poverty and lack or a fear of those things and we have this ten of cups which is in the reverse and could well speak to the same thing you know you may find that the people uh, your uh, the, the people around you might be being shaken up some more you know it's a sudden surprise exits stage left from lots and lots of people that you thought were supposed to stay around you you know the ten of cups is about emotional fulfillment of the collective which is to say more than just you 
So that could be you and a spouse or you and your family or you and your friendship group. It's in the reverse, right? There is no emotional fulfillment here at this point. But whether or not this is applicable to your the, the situation that you find yourself in that is right in front of you, or whether this is something much, much bigger, I can't say. But because it's you, Aquarius, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily feel this way if it was a different sign, but because it's you, and because you're the humanitarians and you're the future facing ones, you can see where things go, you know, this quite likely could be on that humanity level. And there's a wisdom that's that's trying to emerge from the darkness here. It's trying to emerge from the chaos and it's coming straight to you, Aquarius. Bizarrely, because we have the Knight of Cups here. You need to be able to move forwards from a heart centered place. While other people are dealing with this, you know, we've got this Knight of Cups here, and I actually really like this one. Sometimes I feel like the Knight of Cups, which is Pisces energy, can sometimes be a bit of a triumph of style over substance, right? But what we've got here is a Knight of Cups who is aboard a ship in choppy water, really doing some donkey work. He's doing some heavy lifting here, and he's got a toolkit to help him. One assumes that he knows all of his knots and stuff like that. Like he's doing something really, really useful here. And that is you. That is you. <coughs> if it is that you need to start sorting out some of your emotional responses to stuff, and maybe that's why you've been anchored into this place that you're in at the moment, so that when you emerge from it, it's coming from a place of, of high compassion, you know, high spiritual awareness, that's possible too. But it looks like you're being taught something while everything else is kind of, I don't know, I want to say going to shit around you in whatever sense that that applies. This death card is a really, like, I can't take my eyes off it. It's, it's powerful. And, and you must allow it to do what it is here to do for you, Aquarius. I mean, don't try and influence anything, I think, right? Not even yourself. This is not a point of influence. It's not a point of action. It's a point of submitting to it and allowing it to do its work <clears throat> around you and then laterally through you, right? At the point that you start to move, it will start to move through you and not before. Can I have some cards of advice, please, for Aquarius? We have the tower. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Magician again. That's absolutely extraordinary. We have the uh, Leo card of Strength at the bottom of the deck here. And this is important. Right. <clears throat> you are going through some fairly structural changes, spiritually speaking, Aquarius. And in that kind of situation, you must be, you must allow yourself to be guided. Right, by that which knows better than you. And that could be your higher self, spirit, the universe, source, you know, what, whatever that other is for you, that which you've been having a taste of so much recently, you know, where you are straddling these things, allow it to do its work around you, right? Maybe it is structuring the bridge that you get to stand on so that you can cross between these two places more easily. But I mean, fuck, that tower card there, as advised, right? That is literally the universe coming in and shaking everything the fuck up, right? Whatever this is, it needs to fall. And you need to sit passively in the middle of that while it falls around you. Because there's something bigger going on here than you necessarily have access to, right? But trust the process. Trust that it knows whatever it is. It knows what it's doing and it knows your part and it knows how to set everything up for you. You know, there's, there's, I may be having a big spiritual awakening right now, Aquarius. I, I'm actually seeing it in real life. It is 
it's hitting people that I know really, really hard. I actually um, had to go and, go and retrieve someone the other day, <clears throat> yesterday, in fact, because they'd kind of got stuck where they were. And I had to kind of go and free them up and go, you can come back when you're ready. You don't have to come back right now, but come back when you're ready now that you are free to do so, you know. There's a lot of very interesting shit going on at the moment. When I said I had to go and find someone, I mean like energetically had to go and find someone. <coughs> I mean, I would go as far as to say that 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 it isn't just you that is experiencing a spiritual restructuring. I think reality as we understand it is currently being restructured. And maybe it's being revealed, maybe it's being, you know, bit by bit, the scales are falling from our eyes, I don't know. But it's all moving to something more beautiful. We have the four of wands there. That is the creation of a new foundation. And I, I do feel like it's a creation of a new paradigm altogether, Aquarius. And there is a place for you. There is a very, very significant place for you. But you need, you need to know when to act and when not to act. You need to know when it is time for you to sit with your work and just do that regardless of what's going on regardless of whether you find yourself on this side or this side of the bridge or even just kind of levitating straight in the middle of it like i don't know right a lot is going on and it needs you to just stay where you are for now and do do this do do whatever emotional work is trying to trying to bring itself up for you right it's not a time for fighting this it's not a time for trying to be active in any given position it's a time to be quiet and it's a time to to wait who oh, aquarius you never fail to stun me I'm trying to think if i've got any aquarius i haven't got any aquarius in my chart whatsoever apart from my south node is in aquarius yeah interesting another couple of weeks of this at least but stick with it right so i'm going to leave it there know that i love you all very very much i'm totally here for you like i see what's going on trust it no really trust it and take care know that i love you all very much and i will see you soon